Uh, so I head into town and I in Vang Vian. Yeah, I head into downtown Vang Vian. I find the friend that I'm there with, and we go out to eat and we kind of regroup. Um, the shrooms aren't really hitting anymore. Uh, and that's when a guy walks up to our table and he was like, do you guys want some Yaba? You want some Yaba? And I had never heard the word Yaba before. And yeah, I was intrigued. Like I'm the type of guy who will try everything once. Um, Anal? uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so I'm like, oh, I'll and like Yaba sounds exotic. It sounds cool. I'll Is try it. Weed? it. I'll get okay, to that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so he, he brings over these two like purple pills, and they look like homemade pills or yeah. something like that. And I was like, oh, all right, let's go. I take the pill, and then like a half hour later, my heart starts beating really fast, and I, I start getting really jacked up, and I'm like, let's go hit the bars. Like, let's go rage. Um, and so I get up. I walk out of the restaurant, and I'm walking – really fast i get like three blocks away from the restaurant i turn around my friend's gone i later learned out that my friend got up and just had fainted <laughs> had like fainted in the restaurant like all the staff came over to help him um that was the last i saw of him for like 36 hours what um because at that point i was like oh shit where'd he go and i like i looked for a bit i couldn't find him i kept on walking um so yeah i'm still like super amped up i go to a few bars and you know, I'm just moving around constantly. I'm sort of chewing my cheeks. And then I asked this Australian bro there, and I'm like, hey, I just took something called Yaba. Have you ever heard of that? And he's like, oh, mate, that's just another word for meth. Oh, damn it. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was just damn it. straight up crystal meth. Oh, my God. Um, Laotian crystal meth. Yes. Laotian cr crystal meth. Um, so, I don't know. Have you ever tried Adderall before yeah it was kind of like if I had taken 20 Adderalls like Damn. 20 pills of Adderall like you're just fucking so jacked up the problem with Adderall is you take it like all right I'm gonna I gotta write this story I gotta like sit and write and concentrate yes and then um or or like I gotta clean my apartment I gotta sweep and do everything I'm too unfocused I'll just focus and then you're but you're so focused you're like well let me rearrange let me take everything off the closets let me take all this out repack refold and then you're like you still haven't cleaned anything by the time it wears off five six hours later everything's yes. a mess yeah I'll I'll use it sometimes for video editing it's yeah. it can be very helpful if you have to just like Did focus you, on a can task I tell you my like drug that. I invented I'd like to invent if there's any scientists out there please okay. run with this it's called Tardol um, it makes you temporarily autistic. So you can concentrate, you can do your work, you don't need any social functions, you don't need to be able to like talk at the right level around women or stuff, you're just focused on your homework or fucking counting jelly beans. That sounds a lot like Adderall, to be honest, because I'm, I'm not very social whenever I take that yeah. and probably can't talk to women on it. Um, but I like that idea. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, I'm going from bar to bar um at some point i lose my flip-flops but when you're like on meth you don't feel pain so i'm just like i'm walking on these gravel roads for the whole night not feeling any sort of pain it's uh, coming though yo yeah it's it's <laughs> coming it's coming um and i end up not being able to find our guest house and it like vang Vien's not a large town where were you staying what kind of place it was just um it wasn't like a hostel where you had dorm beds we we did have our own room i think me and my friend had like one room with two beds in it okay um i guess that was behind someone else's house uh, yeah it's kind of just like a small hotel okay like uh, a really shitty b and b yes right yeah exactly Thought but i, I like first but my friend had the key that had the address on it and it's just i couldn't figure out where i was staying oh that sucks um so i'm out like all night eventually this is like the next day i'm like all right, I should try to lie down. The next day, you've just been up the whole time. Yeah, and like still have, still I'm like have, I'm still wired from this. Wow, yellow I mean the belt. problem like, is with have... Molly sometimes, it's like, sometimes like, oh, the percentage of speed is too high, and then I'm like, not only can I not fall asleep at 6 a.m., I can't fall asleep at 6 p.m. Yeah. And you're like, damn, but you just took straight that ingredient. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nothing to like cut it with or ease the effects wow. yeah so i still have no interest in sleeping but i'm like i at least need a room for a little bit so i just book another guest house i get into it i remember i 
I smoke a cig and then I try to lie down and sleep for a little bit. When I wake up, the cig has somehow lit my pillow on fire. <laughs> uh, and so there's just like smoke everywhere. So I'm like, oh shit. I take the pillow. I dunk it in the toilet. I dunk it in the toilet for like 20 seconds. I take it out. It's still on fire. I dunk it for like a minute. I take it out. It's still on fire. What? So I just leave it in the toilet bowl and leave the hotel on that. Because I'm like, All right, I've already lost my security deposit. I at least made sure the whole place wasn't going to burn down. Fair. <laughs> Fair. You did the right thing. Yeah. So I leave the place and I'm still like, want, I, I'm still wandering around for this like a, what time of day? That, that was probably seven the following morning. Wow. How, he just gave you the Yaba or you bought it? I, I bought it. It was dirt cheap, though. Dirt cheap. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so I'm back on the streets, probably wander around listening to music for another eight hours. I swear that at some point, a like a bar owner tried to prank me. Because when you're on meth, tried you're also... He, he pulled a prank on me. I swear this happened. I was at a bar. <laughs> and when you're on meth, you get like super paranoid. I swear a bar it's owner like a brought me a, a phone at some point and was like, uh, excuse me, sir, your mom's on the phone. And like, I had a straight up panic attack, but then I got on the phone, I'm like, hello, hello. And no one was there. I think he was just trying to fuck with me. He was probably like, oh, this guy's clearly on Yaba. Probably ha has to be yeah, super it's not paranoid. Yeah, the first time he's seen it. He's yeah. Borrowed, he's probably seen someone else like, like this. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I know, what that, I know what that is. Chewing their cheeks. Yeah. Tripoli pointed that out to me one time. Sam Tripoli. We were at, um, I think, Brea Improv and somebody wouldn't, was getting kicked out and they wouldn't leave. And then eventually it was like, all right, we'll call the cops. Like you're 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 out of here, but you're not out of here. So the cops were coming. Maybe there's a fight. I forget what it, was. it doesn't matter. But all the waitresses were around the cops, and and one of them just kept clenching her cheek. And Sam was like, it's coke. And I'm like, because I didn't really know what it looked like on people. Oh yeah. I was like, how do you know? He's like, look at her cheeks. It was clench, clench, yeah. clench, clench, clench. Also, if you're like moving your jaw back and forth. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, she's trying to be cool, and it's almost like get out of the cops area. Yeah. Don't try to prove your innocence. Just don't be around. Yep. Anyway, um, so eventually I went to one of these bars they have there, which are pretty cool. There are all these lounge chairs and pillows. Yeah. And then they have TVs with all these old school VHSs and you can just like put in a movie, chill oh, and cool. watch it. So like I smoked some weed. I remember putting in Batman Forever and I just like chilled and watched the movie. Wait, on a little screen or on the big? Uh, yeah, it's not a large TV just at right all. right in front of you? Yeah. Like an internet cafe, but for... Oh no, it's not right. Like you, there's like all these pillows on the ground so if like some other people want to join you that's cool watch the movie yeah it, it was a very chill vibe yeah. and while watching batman forever my friend like walked into that same bar <laughs> and so I, I finally found him and we were able to what did he get find into the guest house he was like yeah the mo the last time i saw you we both got up to leave the restaurant and he just fainted and like all the staff came and, and brought him some water and he started to feel better after like an hour and just went back to the guest house and then he was like, I was wondering where you were, but I don't, like, I don't know. I thought <laughs> maybe I, you got lucky. <laughs> I couldn't track you down. Um, and uh, so finally we go back to the guest house. And yeah, after maybe 36 hours, I managed to fall asleep. And this is when I start, like the Yaba starts finally wearing off. Oh, what and, a great feeling when fucking uh, oh, speedy stuff starts no, to leave you. No, this was, oh, this no? was a horrible feeling uh -huh. because <laughs> when you're on the Yaba, you couldn't feel pain. And then when I finally start to sober up, I realized that the, the bottoms of my feet are like shredded. Like oh I had, God. I had cuts all over my feet and I chewed my cheeks so much that I had cuts like all on my cheeks. You were, um, John, John, John McClain was his name. John McClane's the guy from Die, Die Hard. Hard. Yeah, we had to run over the glass. Oh, yes. Like, yeah, yes, I got yes, it. We're all yeah. I was, <laughs> so then for like the next four days, I couldn't like eat solid foods and I could like <laughs> barely walk. <laughs> from meth. <laughs> Just from meth. And it, see. Tell me, <laughs> tell me about Laos. The meth is out of control. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought like Yaba sounded kind of like. I thought it might be cutesy. weed. Yeah, it sounds like something that, it, like, that might be weed. Um, and so, uh, yeah, no, so that's, um, the Nazis used to take meth before going to battle. And that, that now makes perfect sense. You ever, yeah. It Cause does. like when, when you were on it, I felt no pain you felt and, and you need zero sleep and you, you don't need food. Yeah. You can fight for two straight days. You know, yeah. like, all right, let's relieve me. 
Yeah, and I think actually like um Did you ever see Hitler at, at like the Olympics on that? Oh yes. It's yeah. so funny. Yep. Put that in. He's just like just like, let's go. Yeah, I have seen like, that. How's clip? this black guy running? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I looked like. Wow. Oh yeah, a bartender would be like, let me fuck with this guy. Yeah. But I mean, if I ever like had to go to war, hopefully yeah. I don't. I, I would probably want to be taking a little meth. God damn. And I think that's what um the militant groups in the Middle East, like uh ISIS and stuff, I yeah. think they were also taking that there's like a there's like a pill called Captagon that's the most popular drug in the Middle East, and that is pretty much just meth. And I think a lot of them take that. Really? Yeah. Just to fight her. You know the um the the um Vikings would take those 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 blue meanies or those I've heard about those, that. Yeah. And it was like, you get your arm cut off, and you're like, fuck, that hurt, but okay, let's keep going. Yeah, they would go into full berserker mode. Berserker, yeah. The berserker mushroom. That's what it is. The berserker troop. They would yeah. work themselves up into a frenzy and then yeah. go and to people battle. people like, these guys are nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being sober in war would, would be rough. I feel like you, you at least need a few drinks in you. It seems, though, it's like... Yeah, the berserker shoot, but I, I'd hate if I was like the general of the army. Well, let's all take these berserkers go, and then I'll start going like, like this. <laughs> it's like not the best. Yeah, shrooms would not be my drug of choice for combat. Yeah, I'm sure they tested it. Where you been and where you going? This is Ari's travel show. Yeah, we're gonna go on a journey today. See what there's to see in this big world. We're exploring different places. Seeing all different types of faces We're gonna talk about travel today It's U.P. Trip